boom, boom, shake the room. It's just me, the outlaw again. Got myself a pair of workers' pants today. Had to get them because if I'm going to do some business, I'm going to have to look professional, walking up and getting clients and stuff. So uh, that's that. Uh, so we've had uh, visitors today, uh, stalkers, as you will, um, and people that have made threats to me, people in uniform, and they're coming through with their promises of them threats by trying to arrest me in uh, for uh, trespassing uh, on this property which uh, I'm lawfully allowed to be here by Queensland's current laws. Um, those laws are under adverse possession or squatters rights and there is legal procedures to get squatters out. However, uh, Tonight they snuck up and parked in the car park. We'll show that on video tomorrow, the outside of it and all that sort of stuff. But we won't post anything uh, yet until this is all over. But uh, yes, yeah, so they parked in the car park. Uh, they didn't knock on any walls or call out my name. Even though the only reason they're here is to uh, catch me for trespassing. All right? So they were very sneaky sneak, but uh, I was way ahead of them. We used one of our many peepholes to spy on them, and we could see them sneaking around the building. And uh, they were trying to listen in. They stayed for some time, actually. Uh, I think it was about you know, between 4.35, I think, uh, I noticed the, the door was shut when I got up to check the peephole. And then uh, after that, um, yeah, anyway, so they were sneaking around, and uh, I think it was about till 6 o'clock, uh, or somewhere around that mark, and they stuck around till, well, maybe, yeah, it's about an hour they were here. And uh, so they went around to the power box, and um, they've cut my power, and then they stuck around for a bit, uh, just to see if they could flush me out, I guess, and uh, see if I would investigate the... Uh, and the power problem. Uh, they moved the vehicle not long after that, so it was out of my sight, so they probably just drove around the corner and hung out for a while, who knows. But I took precautions and I didn't move for quite some hours. Uh, I was very quiet with the dog, so. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have to complain about this because this is not only just stalking, harassment, threats, and now they're sneaking around the building and they're doing regular checks and uh, I put it down to those two, uh, that officer that arrested me that day that was trying to keep me in the watch house and not let me get to my lawyer by not letting me make that legal call and you know, having a lawyer that rep uh, uh, a duty lawyer represent, uh, represent me at first um, and straight away after walking into that uh, interview uh, cube, whatever they got in the cells there. First thing he says to me was, you're not getting bail today. Just like that. Well, I insi and he said, well, when I said my things I wanted to say, uh, he wouldn't believe me, he said he didn't believe me. And I said, get in touch with my lawyer because if I have to go to the, uh, we go to the courtroom and I'll say that you guys never let me see a lawyer or talk to a lawyer or contact my lawyer when it's my rights, that was what was spoken to me at the time, uh, but I never got that right. Well, suddenly uh, my lawyer's talking to him, and uh, next minute I'm out on bail, and I find out I shouldn't have been in there in the first fucking place, because I was already on bail on the charges that they were trying to keep me in on. They were just trying to uh, keep me in there, and now what they're trying to do is uh, put me in there by getting me for another charge, which would be an illegal charge uh, on their behalf once again, because it's the same as evicting me from my other house, which this is all started over. I mean, these guys just love going around in circles, but 
There's one thing I've got on my side at the moment, and that's all the video of this, all the recordings, they're all date stamped, it's all fucking computerised with these marvellous little phone gadgets. And, uh, yeah, that's right. This phone's apparently tapped, uh, according to my lawyer. They said they'll have that phone tapped by now, so I hope they enjoy all the videos I'm making. Uh, about them and um, yes we are going to expose you and yes you have broken laws which you could be criminally charged for or dismissed from police or downranked or anything but something's got to happen because uh, you have to face justice uh, for your illegal attempts and forcing somebody to break the law when you break the law to make them break the law and uh, all this shit that I'm in should be just getting thrown out because this is all the police. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to contact the police minister now. Whilst I'm over this, uh, we've made all the complaints we can. We've got all the numbers that they give you uh, sent to my phone and email. And so this police harassment's got to stop. I just want to get on with my life. And uh, Department of Housing, you still owe me a house, and you still owe me answers, and to those officers Declan and Dunlop with the first eviction uh, quite a few years ago. You're still to be held responsible. I have all the proof in your handwriting uh, that you were lying and uh, conspiring and uh, we have all the details of that one and that one is going to expose you guys and it's going to expose Scotty and all you mob at the Department of Housing even though you've left, uh, I haven't forgotten. We do not forgive, we do not forget, and you should have expected this. I'm a man that tells the truth, I don't speak shit, I'll tell it the way it is, and if you don't like it, you can get fucked. But, I tell you this, <clears throat> I am going to get this out, I told you I was going to have it investigated, and I'll just keep going and going and going until I have no breath, okay? But you will not illegally try to attempt to put me in prison after I've done a hell of a lot and I didn't break the law for many years until you put me in that fucking car. And i tell you something else. This is all eventually going to go out, not just on YouTube, and go out on Bundle and every other medium that I can find. Because someone eventually is going to need this story because they're going to be harassed just like me by you. And you are going to have to learn to leave good citizens alone. I'm not a criminal, and uh, I've done everything by the law until you put me into a predicament. And uh, just remember, I won't stop. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect something to come out of this. You should have expected me.